Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to set up layers. Uh, what are layers? Uh, layers are different types of lines that are used in AutoCAD. Uh, it is important to note that um, when drawing in AutoCAD, it's advisable or it is highly recommended that we draw every part of the drawing on a separate layer. Uh, we should have a layer for walls, a layer for foundation, layer for windows, text, dimensions, center line, outline, window, kitchen, etc. Every aspect. What that does that allows that allows the user to turn on and off layer or manipulate the layer to save space on the computer. So for this, I am going to start a new drawing. So I can do that from here. For this example, I feel like I want to use a no template layer. So I'm going to click on the templates here. And I'm going down to no template metric. So I click no template metric here. And it brings up this. My Next step is to activate my layer command. I, so if you look here, you will realize that I currently I have no, no layer. Uh, with AutoCAD architecture, it is somewhat different from standard AutoCAD. Uh, the, command for, the, uh, the command for layer property is this one right here, this icon here. So please take notes. It's the first command, first icon under the layers, all right? Alternatively, you could type LA followed by the enter key to bring up the layer, all right? So that is the second way in which you could, you could um, open your layer property. I personally like to use shortcut commands. I don't spend too much time on the, on the ribbon per se. So again, you have two options to start so to, to, to um, open your layer properties. Type LA, enter, and it, it comes up. So to, to start a new layer or to create a new layer, we click this icon here. So we click that. And uh, the first layer that I want to create is my wall. So I choose a wall. And uh, this I would like a color of, well, I could let white stay. The thing about white is that white will, will show up as black on a uh, white paper. It is extremely important to change from our default layer to a specific line weight thickness. For this, I'm gonna use 0.6 or 0.7 is good for my, my wall. From the wall, I will also need a layer for my foundation. So again, I go back here and I click on this. Click on this icon here. And I will, will label this one foundation, architecture foundation. And again, I'm going to change the color from white to some other color, probably this color brown L A and bring back that and and I don't want my my oh my foundation layer to be this thick so I'm gonna change it to about 0.5. Uh in some cases you might want to choose use um a broken line to represent to represent um your layer. But if you're generating your layer using the software to generate your layer, you would not need to set this as it would have already come with broken line. So again, to create a new layer, so, so now we have wall, we have foundation, uh, could click here again, or alternately, we could click the shortcut key for new layer, which is Alt plus N. So let's try that. Hold on to Alt T and N. And that will bring up that. All right, let's take this. Uh, 
out and all oh, that doesn't seem to be working for this. So let us L A enter brings up that. Again, we do this. And this time we name this layer roof. R O O F. Roof. And we change to our different color. See, for example, the red. Okay. So you will pretty much continue. You will continue. Continue to create to create layers. So one for roof. One for roof. We create one for. All you could do is click and create a number of them, and then you click onto it to edit. All right. So we. For this one, I click two times, and I rename, rename layer. And I'll, I'll, let's call this one window, windows. And I'm gonna change from that so i'm gonna click two times here so i'm taking off auto to hide hide here so that this stays out so we'll basically go ahead and um so right click on this to rename it you basically go ahead and um set up all the layers that you want. You'd want a layer for dimension, layer for text, layer for a center line, layer for fixture, for section, for hatch, for viewport, for details, for orthographic projection. So uh, we, you also need a center line. So let's call, let's label this one center line. Um, C-E-N-T-R-E, -E, center line. Uh, let's change the center line color to green. Okay, and uh, for our center line, we want a different type of line here. So we would click on it on continuous, then click load, and then choose our center line. Choose from the choices that we have here. So here we have three types of center lines. We have center, center by two, center two and center by two. It is important to know that um, these, the center, center, center by two has the widest space. The spaces are more distant. Uh, the center two, the spaces are closest. Uh, center, the spaces are less close. So it's important to choose the one that you want. If you're doing a small drawing, well, for building drawing, we would definitely choose a center by X. Yeah, center by X. So we click that, then OK. All right. Then click onto this, click OK to bring it into the drawing. So it's pretty much there. You would then click onto this to change the or line weight thickness. For building joint, it's be 0.5 or 0 0.7. 0 0.6 could work as well. So we would continue go through, right click onto this, type rename. And uh, for this one, let's label this one dimension. Dimension. And change the color to probably this. OK. Change to a line with a thickness of 0.25. OK. Double click, click left click on this two times or right click, then go down to rename layer. Label this one fixture. Fixture. Change color again. Let's give her a fixture. Uh, Probably one of these colors. All right, let's label it. we will feature that color. So remember, we do not, we do not 
draw or use default layers, or these are non-printable layers. So please change those layers. And right click on this layer. Let's label this one hatch, H A T C H. And give a hatch a color, this color. That might be a bit too dark. Again, we change from that to change from that to this. Okay. So hidden detail, hidden let's let's name one hidden detail line. Rename our broken line. Our broken line. Broken. You choose a color that you want. Uh, let that be. Well, this color does, doesn't, uh, yellow doesn't show up on white paper. So be careful when you're choosing colors. All right. So I think that's basically that for now. You could add a lot more layers, but I will stop it there for now. Uh, it is important to explore or to explain layer a little bit in a little bit more details. Um, these little symbols here, if you wish to, if you, if you, it's important to know that if any of these is thick, is ticked, for example, I click this, it, you will notice that it turns, it turns, there's a red circle with a line drawn through it. If that is ticked, this you will not be able to print on this layer. So be careful. Yeah, what you'll find is that um, once you bring your drawing into the layout space, you will not be able to see this layer if this is thick. So be mindful of that. I've seen instances where students create their layers, but they when they are ready to convert to PDF and they go over to their layout. Some of the walls are not visible or the lines are not, not visible. This is the reason. It's because this is ticked, this is clicked. So ensure that what you don't want to print is not is not clicked. All right. We could also turn off our layers. Say, for example, there are cases where you're drawing, you're drawing, and your drawing will become complicated or complex with a lot of lines and lines which are placed relatively close to each other, uh, you might want to turn off the layer. So once you click on this light bulb, everything that is drawn on that layer will disappear from the screen. And uh, that is useful in cases where you want to select lines, select a particular part of the join, which is done among the other lines. So you can turn off lines. What this does is basically freezes the layer, yeah? And when it freezes the layer, it, it um, utilizes less space than your computer. So if you're drawing and you draw and become as complex, you have too many drawings on this, on, on, on that, on, in, in that particular file, and you want to save some space or allow your, your computer to draw much faster, you would click these. You could also lock layers. When you click this, you will not be able to edit, to do any editing or manipulation of that line. So it's very important. Right. So this is freeze.